Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. The famed Paper Mill Playhouse in Millburn, New Jersey kicks off their 75th anniversary season with the world premiere of the Broadway-bound Jason Robert Brown and Andrew Bergman musical Honeymoon in Vegas, which is based on the hit film. It welcomes back to the theater stage, screen, and television star Tony Danza, who is joined by Rob McClure and Bryn O'Malley. And we're here in the rehearsal room to bring you a sneak peek. today. First audience, how did it feel for you today? It was uh, it was nerve-wracking, but it was super fun to get some response and to feel the energy of, of the audience like pumping us up. So what has it been like working on this, specifically a brand new musical? I, uh, more than any other thing, I love working on new musicals. This one happens to be a super, super fun one that every single, let me start with Jason Robert Brown, who, who doesn't love Jason Robert Brown, Gary Griffin, and the cast, besides being super talented, they got a bunch of nut jobs, and they're all crazy, and they're crazy off stage, and they're crazy on stage, and it's super crazy character-y fun. What was today like for you? Uh, well, of course, it's so exciting to share it with people. You know, we've been uh, in rehearsal now, we're in our fourth week, and, you know, we have been having a wonderful time, but obviously it's just sort of us looking at it, so to share it with, you know, cold eyes, as Andrew Bergman says, uh, and to get such a warm response today was, like, super exciting for us. It was great. What has it been like for you working on this and collaborating with the creative team? Oh, I mean, it's been such a pleasure. I mean, Gary Griffin is a lovely man, so smart and such a gentleman and has just been a dream. And, uh, you know, the writing team, as I said last time we spoke, is just sensational. And the opportunity to, to choreograph for Jason to a Jason Robert Brown score is an incredible blessing in my life and it's just been a thrill. Tell me what you thought when you got the script to this, what went through your mind? Well, I was aware of the project for quite a while before I went in for this round and uh, so I had read the script probably about almost a year ago and I had even heard a little bit of the music um, and I knew that it was a really good script when I first read it and then when I heard the music I thought wow this is this seems like a really great project so I feel very fortunate to uh, to kind of come back to it and I uh, get a chance to, to be a part of it. Did you know the film before you started this? Yes I did. Well you know I I was involved in the lab a couple of years ago, um, so that's that's when I took a look at the at the at the movie. Um, I wasn't familiar with it before that, um, but uh, yeah, that's that's when I got to know the movie. And working with this company, how much fun is it? It's the best. Literally, they've been handpicked by. They're the funniest people in the world, and very talented too, because the dancers can really dance and sing, and they're funny. I mean, that's just not so easy to find, but, but Gary Griffin did it. I mean, he's just got, I think, I, I can't think of a better cast, actually. What's really, uh, you know, exciting and also terrifying is how good these people are. I mean, the ensemble, uh, you know, that Rob McClure guy, forget about it. They, the, the choreographer tells them, this is it, and they know it. The, 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 the director says, everybody knows it. And I'm like hanging on by my fingernails because they were all in shape, I think, and I'm not. But um, to do it today was fun. I mean, I think, uh, you know, the, uh, I Love Betsy is a, is a new opening song. That's a new opening song. So that, that, um, that, that shows we, we are evolving and getting better and better. And the 11th hour number at a higher love is just the most exciting. I just think people are going to be bopping out of the theater. And, uh, and I think what's really... Uh, Unique about the show is is the just this, the, the amazing score that he wrote. It's just the it's one song after the next that you go, wow, that's my favorite. No, that's my favorite. You know. When my Donna died, my world blew into pieces, Jack. When my Donna died, a part of me died too. And I thought that I could leave her in the past. I tried. Now I'm standing here and wishing I was you. I know this sounds bizarre, but things are what they are. 
I would like to spend the weekend with your girlfriend, Jack. What? I will be the perfect gentleman, I swear. Are you insane? I'm not going to lend her out. Just a weekend of so long me and your girlfriend, Jack. Then it's settled and it's finished, fair as No, fair. no, no chance, no. Look, if you were all that anxious to get married, Jack, then you wouldn't have been sitting in that chair. So what's a weekend? What's the difference? You've got lots of time to spare. Hi. Hi. How thrilled are you that you're going to paper mill first, this beautiful playhouse, before you come to Broadway? I Listen, I... I Paper Mill has always been sort of where I wanted to do it. it. It allows me to sort of be close to home, but also I think the audiences there are smart and they, they know what a musical is. And specifically, it is a throwback. We did want to write a show. We wanted to write the kind of show that you would have written in 1965, but just write it now, you know, and, and with all of our current sensibilities, but with the same aesthetic. This is what a musical sh comedy should feel like. It should feel like, like this thing. And I thought the Paper Mill Playhouse is going to understand how that show should look. And, you know, you're in that playhouse with that proscenium you want to see you know you want to see the gags you want to see you know where it's all going to pull together we got showgirls we got a big band we got you know we got the whole thing it feels like it's just every time andy and i sit and we watch her go that's a musical because that's what we wanted to do tell me what it's been like collaborating with jason robert brown on this piece oh it's been wonderful i mean it's been you know we're like a two-headed uh, something <laughs> two-headed horse whatever you, whatever you say no it's, it's been wonderful because we think alike and and uh we're unterritorial about what we do, and if, if I say, eh, about a song, he'll say, maybe you're right. If he says, eh, about a joke, he'll, I'll say, you know, not so good. It's like the great old school, how shows oh, are put is, together. It really is. This is, this is really sweating, sweating, uh, and also we've been working on it on and off for 10 years, so we've thrown out enough songs for another musical already. A lot of the stuff that we presented today, um, I get to just watch in the rehearsal room, so it was kind of fun to watch other people's faces light up and see everyone's chests rise at the appropriate modulations, and it was really exciting. So what has it been like working on this new musical? Um, exciting. I, I haven't worked on a lot of new musicals um, in, in the sort of out-of-town tryout kind of, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, scenario. Usually it's just readings and workshops. So um, it's really fun to see something like this get built from the ground up. And, and the great thing about this show is, is that it's great. <laughs> um, so it's not like everyone's sitting around scratching their heads trying to figure out how to rewrite Act 2 or knock 20 minutes off of it like it already works. So it's been like just, you know, slight adjustments as we go, but it's mostly just been let's throw it up because all the material is there and it's ready to go. Like, uh, we all joke that as each song starts, we go, that's my favorite song. And then the next one starts, and you go, no, no, that's my favorite song. The score is just so brilliant. Um, and it's so witty and clever and hummable. Um, and we're just, uh, it's just the whole room smiles all day. And we all leave. People joke that, that we come out of the Foxwoods rehearsal studio on the street and all of us are just humming all the way to the train. It's infectious. And working on a brand new musical, what that means to you? Yeah, it means a lot. You know, somebody trusting you with material from the gate and you being able to help craft it and help bring this character to life for the first time in this way. Um, and uh, so, so you feel an added responsibility to sort of bring stuff to the table. You know, no one's going to tell you what to do. Nobody knows what to do. We're all sort of winging this, you know. Um, but it's a, it's a team who, who, who is very good at crafting things from scratch. Gary Griffin's amazing. Andrew Bergman is amazing. Jason Robert Brown, Dennis Jones. I mean, these are these are you know, the best of the best in terms of artistry, and um, it's a thrill. We're having a blast. I like dancing on the pier. I like Broadway once a year, but I love the <laughs> the day's time here. I like visits to the zoo. I like opera. That's not true, but I love the It's been five years, and I'm ready. Get the sparklers and confetti. Give a wink to the waiter and summon the waiter. Like Jay-Z and Beyonce, I will make her my Beyonce. I love Betsy. I love Betsy. I love Betsy. And Betsy loves me. Ooh. I'm a schmuck and Betsy loves me. Ooh. Doesn't matter what I do, I know it's true. I could never live without her. Betsy loves me. It's amazing. Betsy loves me. Tonight I'm gonna show her just how proud I am to know her. 
There's no danger, there's no drama, there's no cursing, there's no mama. But my problem's in the past. La la la.